Good morning and welcome to BFIT Live. We have our BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry as a guest. Roy, how are you guys doing? Leah, welcome back and happy Monday. Motivation to you all. Happy Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Barry, how are you? I'm doing good, Leah. I've been feeling energized and healthy and excited for our workout. Awesome. Today. Awesome. Well, Roy, are you ready to get started? Absolutely, Leah. Thank you so much. First off, welcome everybody to joining uh, for joining our BFIT Live. Once again, this is every Monday at 11 a.m. to kickstart your week, uh, to set you off on the right foot, to set aside to set aside some me time for yourself. So, what better way to do that than to have a nice, strong workout, which we have today? So. Um, looking over our program, we've gone through a lot of strength and endurance and, and technical training over the past few weeks, and we're excited to build on that this week. So again, if you're new, if you're just joining us, uh, Sergeant Barry and I are working out from our homes, uh, no more than about a five or six foot, you know, square footage here of, of, of our uh, in-home, at-home workout. So uh, we have a nice, strong workout for you today. We're going to be tackling our lower body. We're going to be uh, touching base on our backs, our posterior chain, uh, our shoulders, as well as our core for stability here. Um, we work for 40 seconds, and we have 20 seconds of rest. We're going to work through four rounds, and four exercises are going to be completed during each round. So four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and one minute rest in between each round. We will go through some dynamic stretching to stretch out multiple muscle groups at a time to get ourselves prepped and mentally and physically uh, to get ready to go for this workout. And then we will dive into the workout. So um, without uh, further ado, Sergeant Barry, you ready to go? We will, um, all, right. all right, let me go ahead and demonstrate uh, four exercises for today, and then we'll go into our dynamic stretching here. So our first exercise is going to be a side lunge with a knee drive. So no weight needed here, but if you want to scale up, we can definitely add some weight in as we go. So we are going to start just a couple of keys here. Start shoulder width, uh, if not closer, uh, on your feet. Shoulder width apart here. We are going to lunge over, side lunge, lateral lunge over to our right here. Again, a couple of cues here, make sure your chest is nice and forward, your head is in a neutral position, your spine should be nice and long, back is flat. And once you come up, all that weight should be on your right foot and you drive your left knee up and back down, okay? And then you lateral lunge over to your left, up with your right leg and back down. That's gonna be side lunge with a knee drive. That's gonna be for 40 seconds of work. That's exercise number one. Bent over fly is gonna be our exercise number two. So again, we're, 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 we're focusing on contracting our core and hitting our posterior uh, back here. So we're gonna make some fists here. If you have some weights, dumbbells, anything uh, that you can add for resistance, you can go ahead and do that as well. So feet are together, we're hinging at the hips. Our back is about a 45 degree uh, at angle. We're gonna drop our arms straight down, make that fist nice and solid. And we are going to reverse fly out to the to the, uh, to the side here, making sure that we squeeze our shoulder blades together and really focus on that contraction up top. Okay, that's number two, bent over fly. Squat to overhead press. Again, we are shoulder width apart here, if not a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We are gonna drop down into a squat position here. I know we love our squats. We've done them many of times here on BFIT Live. Squat down, and if you have a uh, favorite object of some sort, a water bottle, um, detergent, anything with a handle. It could be anything here. We grab it. We will hold it up top to our chest, drop down into that squat. And then in one, in one motion here, we're gonna extend up to the top here. So squat down to overhead press here. We're working on our lower body as well as isolating our shoulders, okay? And then our fourth and final exercise to round out the workout will be on the floor here at a high plank with a cross body knee drive. So we have a lot of knee drives today. 
All right, so again, we're at a high plank position, feet are shoulder width apart, our hands are right below our shoulders, and we are gonna drive that right knee to that left elbow here. Nice and comfortable to your pace for 40 seconds, okay? So you wanna feel that contraction in your core, stability from that high plank, and we are gonna feel that one, okay? So before we get started, again, we'll work on some dynamic stretching right now. We'll move into some dynamic stretching and then we'll move into our workout. So just before we start every workout, we like to get in tune with our body. We like to warm up our body, prime our body, make sure that we are nice and warmed up. Our muscles have blood flow flowing to them. So that way we are ready to operate at our most highest potential. So let's go ahead and start with some dynamic quad stretches. So we're gonna take that right leg back and we're gonna take that left arm all the way up, stretching out nice and high here. And then we're gonna alternate, grab that left leg back and that right arm swings all the way up, reaching up nice and high here. Let's go at your own pace here. We'll do each of these movements for about 30 seconds, really hanging on to each stretch a little bit longer if you need to, try and reach a little bit higher as we go through these stretches here. Again, this is your dynamic quad stretch. And now's a great time to get in tune with your body to see how your body is feeling this morning or this afternoon, wherever you're watching. Let us know where you're watching from as well. If it's your first time, let us know where you're watching from. All right, let's go into some overhead I'm sorry, reverse lunge reaches, okay? I'm up top. I'm gonna take my right leg all the way back. Reverse lunge, take your hands and reach over to your left here. Okay, back to the top here. Left leg's going back and I'm reaching over to my right. You can feel that stretch in your lats. We're gonna be working our back. So let's go ahead and stretch out those lats. And again, this is optimal time for us to get some blood flow into our lower body here. Let's go ahead and go at your own pace. If you need to hang out, stretch out those hip flexors a little bit longer, go right on ahead. Just a few more here. Two. One. All right, let's move into some fixed lateral lunges here. So this is gonna be some of our work for today, but just to warm up our legs here, we are gonna lunge nice and easy. Hands can be supportive on your quads. And you just wanna lunge left to right. Nice and easy, nice and slow. No drive just yet. <laughs> Nice. Go ahead and take a little bit of time on that lunge. You can really feel that stretch through your inner thigh. Good work. Good work. Let's move into some hinge reaches. Again, we're standing shoulder width apart here. We are gonna hinge at the hips and our hands are gonna be as straight as possible above our heads here. We're reaching above our heads and we're hinging at the hips at about a 45 degree angle here. Again, you should feel this stretch in your hamstrings, some shoulder mobility here and warm up that lower back. So we got a lot going on here with this dynamic stretch. Just a few more here. I'm feeling nice and warm, Sergeant Barry. I hope you are as well. I am indeed starting to. Nice. Good, good, good. And just to open up our hips a little bit more, let's move into some, some hip rotations here, outside to inside, right leg out, hip circles here. Just wanna pay a little bit more attention to our hips. We may be seated a little more than usual. 
or if you're coming off the morning, you may have been seated for work or you may have been driving. So let's go ahead and open up these hips just a little bit more, pay a little bit more attention here. Inside to outside, done, outside to inside. There we go. Nice. Keep that core nice and tight. It should be engaged here. Try not to lose balance. Just a, <laughs> just a few more. Five, three, and last one time. All right, good work, good work. Let's go ahead and grab some water, towel off if you need to, and let's get started. Let's get working. Mm. Much needed, much needed dynamic stretch to get things started, okay. All right, once again, side lunges with a, Side lunges with a knee drive is gonna be up first. Let me go ahead and start my timer here. My trusty timer here. Again, four rounds. If you're just joining us, we're just starting to work. So now is the perfect time to join us. Four rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Turn this down. And one minute rest in between each round. All right, side lunges with knee drive in 10. All right, let's get ready to work here. <clears throat> Again, side lunge, knee drive. Two, one, let's work here. 30, 40 seconds of work. Let's focus that on hinging at the hips here. Lateral lunge over and drive that left leg up. Left lateral lunge, driving that right leg up. Really focusing on balance, control, stability. So keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Focusing on pushing up through your heels. Keep that chest nice and tall, nice and forward. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work. Good work. Bent over fly again. First round, we learn it. Second round, we own it. So let's go ahead and learn. Bent over fly in nine seconds. We're gonna make those fists. If you don't have any resistance, I'm gonna go ahead and go with fists first. In two, one, let's work. We're hinging at the hips. Our back is nice and flat. Spine is nice and long. We have a reverse fly going, targeting our mid to upper back. Again, keep those fists nice and tight. Halfway there, 20 seconds of work already in. There we go, nice and wide. Really contracting at the top, bringing those shoulder blades together. 10 more seconds of work here. Hinging at the hips, so keep that core nice and tight. Two, one, and time. Two down, two to go. Squat to overhead press here. If you have a favorite object, I'm gonna grab this gallon of water to add a little bit of resistance here. I'm gonna take a nice wide stance in five seconds and I'm squatting down and I'm pressing up. So overhead press, two, one, let's work. 40 seconds of work here. Make sure and sit back in that chair, leading with your glutes first, dropping down to your comfort level. Elbows are in nice and tucked and you are thrusting your resistance above your head, nice and straight. Again, we should carry this object right by our chest. And in one motion, we should be moving it up above our heads here. 10 more seconds of work here. Exercise three, squat to overhead press. Five, good work, here we go, two, one, and time, good work. Good work, BFIT Nation. 15 seconds of rest, and we're gonna move into high plank with those cross body drives. Let me move this down for you. Some of my favorite groundwork here. All right, high plank here in two, one. Here we go. Fifth, feet are shoulder width apart here. Hands are directly underneath our shoulders for the best possible support. And we're driving. 
left knee to right elbow and right to the left. So just alternating across your body here, keeping that core nice and tight halfway through, keeping those glutes nice and down, yet contracted. That belly button is pushed in towards your navel. <clears throat> there we go. Six more seconds of work here. Three, two, hold it, and time. Again, one round down. Good work. Good work. Yep. Feeling that. You know, I purposefully keep my fan off so I can break a sweat for you all. <laughs> so, again, if you're just joining us, that's one round of our four rounds here. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. For, day, for today, we're tackling our full body, our total body here, because we wanna show love to every part of us here. So side lunges are first, bent over flies are our second exercise. Third is gonna be our squat to overhead press, and four is gonna be our high plank cross body knee drive. So that rounded us out with 15 seconds of rest here. Catch your breath, towel off. Hmm. And we have side lunges up in five. Starting the second round here. Two, one, let's work here. I'm lunging to my right. My left knee is driving up. And if we need to scale it down here, go ahead and just start with the lunges first. Lunge and feet together. Lunge, feet together. You can eliminate the knee drive. If you're at your comfort levels where you can drive up, let's do it. Let's get it. 12 more seconds of work here. What really helps to balance and stabilize is once you drive that knee up, get into that running position, right? running stance. Two, one, and time. Good work. All right, moving into our bent over flies. I'm gonna grab a little, re little bit of resistance here. And we're working in five. Again, we're hinging at the hips. We're bending over and we're working here. 40 seconds of work, here we go. Nice. Sergeant Barry, I love your company. We have guests. <clears throat> there we go. Again, your feet should be shoulder width apart. You're hinging at the hips. Think of that W and we're reverse flying, targeting our back here. 12 more seconds of work. Let's push through. I know we've made great progress through these weeks. Keep with me, two, one, and time. Good work, good work, way to go. Squat to overhead press in 14 seconds. Good work. <laughs> Five seconds of work here. Two, one, let's work. Squat down to overhead press here. Again, let's go at your own pace, at your own comfort and your weight. Try and pick some resistance that's challenging to you if you can. If you have dumbbells to your uh, disposal, plates, or let's get creative. Let us know what you're using. Do you have dumbbells? Do you have gallons of water? Five more seconds of work here. Good work, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, good work. <laughs> That one's not easy. Again, that's a, that's a good, good complex movement there to target multiple muscle groups. All right, I'm down high plank in three, two, one. Let's work here. <clears throat> All right, let's focus on that drive. <clears throat> Driving that knee, you should feel that contraction in your abs especially in those obliques. Fifteen seconds. How are we doing? How are we doing? 
Keep with us. Keep with us, BFit Nation. Five more seconds of work here, push through. Let's earn that rest. Two, one, and time. <laughs> Let me stretch that one out. <laughs> Good work. Good job. That's right, stretch out that body. Take that rest. Go ahead and shake it out. My shoulders are feeling nice and warm on fire. My quads, oh, we're good. This is a nice, strong workout here. <clears throat> hey, Roy, I just wanted to say that Phyllis is saying good morning and she says hi to Sergeant Barry. Good morning, Phyllis. Thanks for always being a loyal fan, always joining us. Happy Monday. Absolutely, Phyllis. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching BFIT Live here. Side lunges for 40. Here we go. I like our repeated viewers. I hope they're challenging themselves, working out with us, and having fun while they're at it, because that's the ultimate goal here is although things might be challenging, it might be tough now, it will get easier and we can have fun while doing that. So five more seconds of work here. Side lunge with knee drive, three, two, one. There we go, 20, 20 seconds of rest here, we've earned it. Bent over fly in 12, I'm gonna grab the little resistance I have here in five. That's 20 seconds of rest, really flies by. And let's work here. Again, I'm hinging at the hips. My weight is in front of me, right above my quads. My head is in a neutral position. My spine is nice and long, my back is flat. A couple of cues here, keep it strong. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep it engaged, 20 more seconds, halfway there. If we need to alternate, right, left, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Five more seconds of work, three, and time. Good work, good work. I'm gonna hang on to one of these dumbbells here. Squat to overhead press is up next. <laughs> All right, here we go. Squat to overhead press in three, two, one. Let's work here. 40 seconds of work. Again, let's try and make this all one motion here from bottom to top. We're leaning back in that chair, squatting down to our comfort level and raising that weight straight above our heads to press and activate those shoulders. There you go, 15 seconds of work left. Let's go at your pace, at your comfort level here. Eight more seconds. Three, two, one, last rep. Time, good work. <laughs> you know, that, that compound movement right there gets me every time. I break a sweat with that one. All right, high plank, high plank crossover. This In is three. This is the one that gets you, Sergeant Barry? Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> All right, let's work. 40 seconds of work here. I know it's not easy. We'll challenge ourselves here with this one. 15, I'm sorry, 25 seconds of work here. All right. If we need to scale it down, let's go ahead and just hold up that high plank here. Eliminate those drives, 10 more seconds. Hold it nice and strong, keep that core engaged. Three, two, and time. Good work, good work. 
my core feels on fire with that one. That high plank, as if a high plank wasn't enough, we added in a crossover knee drive. <laughs> really activating those obliques. As well as working on stability, pivoting off of that one foot. <laughs> How are we feeling? Three rounds down, three rounds. Last set, last round. Last round, best round. <laughs> All right, side lunges with knee drives are coming up in five. All right, my feet are together. I'm gonna lunge over to my right, lunging over to my right, knee drive up with my left. What's great about this movement is that it forces your body to really pivot off of that one foot that's on the floor. Focusing on balance and stability, bringing in some of those smaller muscle fibers, but yet using your power to explode up with that, with that grounded foot. Good work. There we go. Eight more seconds of work here. Let's go. Three, two, one, and time. Good work, good work. Last round. Our bent over flies are up next here. Again, if you don't have any weight, go ahead and make those fists. In three, two, one, let's work here. All right, I'm hinging at the hips here. Let's make sure we focus on that top part, that top of the movement where you reverse fly, bringing in those shoulder blades together. Let's keep your gaze a couple of feet forward so that, you, so that your head is in a neutral position. All right, 15 more seconds of work. Let's finish out strong. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling this one. <sighs> Five more seconds here. Three, two, and time. Good work. Good work. Way to finish out strong here. All right, 12 seconds, and we'll move into that squat, the overhead press. If you have a kettlebell, that works great. Again, a gallon of water. Let me know what you're working with. <clears throat> Two, one. All right, let's work here. Good work. Again, this is a compound movement that not only targets your lower body and your core and stability, but also your upper body with that shoulder overhead press. A lot of bang for our buck here. <laughs> you really do save a lot of time, don't you, with these compound movements? <laughs> Absolutely. With the amount of time that we have to work with, using multiple muscle groups is the best way to get the most out of your workout here. And rest. 20 seconds of rest here flies by. Last rep. Last rep. Last set. Here we go. In five, high planks, crossover. Last round, last set. Let's make it count. All right, legs are shoulder width apart. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Drive a little bit further than last round. Really squeezing at the top. And if you can, hold a pulse. Hold for one second. Hold that knee drive just a little bit longer than you normally would to feel those abs just burn. There we go. 10 more seconds of work. Good job. Five, four, finish out strong. You won't regret it. And time. <laughs> good work. Absolute good work. Again, this is a nice, powerful, Powerful workout, great job, great work. A great way to start the week. <laughs> great way to start off our Mondays. 
again, if you're just popping in, I hope that you can come back, actually go back and visit this full segment here. Sergeant Barry and I just completed a little under, a uh, little under 30 minutes of work here, uh, including the dynamic stretch. So we went through four rounds with 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Our four exercises, just to recap, a side lunge with a knee drive, a bent over fly to target our back, a squat to overhead press here, again, full total body here. And our fourth exercise, our fourth drill was a high plank crossover body knee drive. Again, really isolating our core and uh, our full stability from our posterior chain to our anterior. So great, great workout. A lot of power movements in there. I hope you all had fun. <laughs> Leah, awesome. Leah, how are we? Roy and Sergeant Barry. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Every Monday, we like to get it in. I don't see any questions or comments right now, so I guess we will see you next week. Yes, ma'am. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Thank you again. Have a good week. <laughs>